Hey everybody, this is Analytical Survival, and today I want to talk about preparedness in libraries. Perhaps more importantly, however, I'd like to a little bit later find out from you, the subscriber and viewer, exactly what kinds of texts you yourself have in your own survival or preparedness library. And by doing this, I want to give you, the viewer, a chance to share what kinds of books you think are crucial. So let's get started, first of all, by taking a look at my own preparedness library. Now I'm going to pan very slowly throughout the entire collection, and and this is just to allow you to more closely check out the various titles. All right, here we go. All right, there you go. That's my preparedness library. And as you can see, I don't have every title under the sun. And there's a reason for this. What is the reason, you ask? Well, when I was younger, way back in the day, I used to collect lots and lots of books. But I don't do that as much anymore. And you may ask, why not? Well, you might say that I've become wiser over the years. I'm a bit older now. And you know what I found? That a truly, truly effective library is not based on how many books it has, but by which types of books it has. And that especially applies to survival or preparedness libraries. That is, you actually just need to carefully select a good set of highly rated titles, benchmark books across a wide range of categories. Now, truth be told, what you see here is not the greatest example of this approach. I'll admit that. But it's a decent example. That is, I have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. 
And that's kind of the gist of what we're talking about here. I want to fully study and read what's already in this library and to do that I need to keep it moderately sized. Bottom line, don't just collect books, get to know the information within those books. In addition, get to know the author's style, their way of thinking, their argumentative assumptions. That's all important when creating a personal library. Okay, let's move on to categories. Now, I'm sure there are a gazillion million category possibilities. Trust me, I'm aware of that. But here are just a few that have worked for me over the past many years. Survival preparedness manuals, emergency medicine, homesteading skills, tactical survival mindset, weapons, communications, emergency procedures, homestead location, military manuals, leadership, survival fiction, spirituality, and health. Okay, let's go through each book one by one. Now, I've taken the liberty of listing the author, title, and any other pertinent information. That way, you can pause the video as you go and take notes whenever necessary. Now, under the category of survival preparedness manuals, we have these authors and titles. How to Survive the End of the World as We Know It. Handbook to Practical Disaster Preparedness for the Family. LDS Preparedness Manual. SAS Survival Book for Any Climate in Any Situation Hawks Special Forces Survival Book Special Forces Survival Guide The Modern Survival Manual Surviving the Economic Collapse 98.6 Degrees The Art of Keeping Your Ass Alive When All Hell Breaks Loose Stuff You Need to Survive When Disaster Strikes The Worst Case Scenario Survival Book Okay, under the category of emergency medicine, we have these authors and titles. Special Operations Forces Medical Handbook. Ranger Medic Handbook. Where There Is No Doctor. Where There Is No Dentist. Ditch Medicine, Advanced Field Procedures. Wilderness Medicine, Beyond First Aid. Medicine for the Outdoors. Selfish Prayer and emergency war surgery. Under the category of homesteading skills, we have these authors and titles. The Complete Book of Home Preserving. Basic Butchering of Livestock and Game. The Urban Homestead, Your Guide to Self-Sufficient Living in the Heart of the City. Preserve It Naturally. Again, the LDS Preparedness Manual. Mini Farming, Self-Sufficiency on a Quarter Acre. Power from the Sun, Achieving Energy Independence, The Trapper's Bible, Water Storage, How to Implement a High Security Shelter in the Home, and The Forager's Harvest. Under the category of Tactical Survival Mindset, we have these authors and titles. Facing Violence, Preparing for the Unexpected, Meditations on Violence, the Little Black Book of Violence, What Every Young Man Needs to Know About Fighting. Sentinel, Becoming the Agent in Charge of Your Own Protection Detail. The Art of War. Kill or Get Killed. Fighting the Pain-Resistant Attacker. Under the category of Weapons, we have these authors and titles. Principles of Personal Defense. Stay in the Fight, The Warrior's Guide to Combat Pistol. Green Eyes and Black Rifles, Warrior's Guide to the Combat Carbine. Once again, Sentinel, Tactical Pistol Marksmanship, The Tactical Shotgun, Surgical Speed Shooting, The Art of the Dynamic Handgun, The Art of the Tactical Carbine, The Art of the Dynamic Shotgun, and The Art of the Precision Rifle. Under the category of communications, we have these authors and titles. The Road Home, World Radio and TV Handbook, The ARRL Repeater Directory, The ARRL Operating Manual for Radio Amateurs. Under the category of emergency procedures, we have these authors and titles. Bug Out, The Complete Plan for Escaping a Catastrophic Disaster Before It's Too Late. Bug out vehicles and shelters. How to bury your goods. Survival blog archive. The official blue book. Handbook of United States coins. 
Under the category of homestead location, we have these authors and titles. Strategic relocation. Dirt cheap survival retreat. Under the category of military manuals, we have these authors and titles. Special Forces Handbook. U.S. Army Special Forces Medical Handbook. Map Reading and Land Navigation. Guerrilla Warfare and Special Forces Handbook. Military Mountaineering. M16 and AR15 Owner's Manual. Under the category of leadership, we have these authors and titles. The Power of Habit, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business. Predictably Irrational, The Hidden Forces That Shape Our Decisions. The Logic of Failure, Recognizing and Avoiding Error in Complex Situations. The Gift of Fear, and Other Survival Signals That Protect Us from Violence. Under the category of survival fiction, we have these authors and titles. One Second After. One Year After. Patriots. The Road Home. Collision Course. Lights Out. Under the category of spirituality and health, we have these authors and titles. The New Oxford Annotated Bible. The Navy SEAL Nutrition Guide. Juice Fasting and Detoxification and a daily workout regimen of your choice. Okay, that does it for the preparedness library. You've seen each title and each author, and now you yourself can decide which books you'd like to incorporate into your own library or which books you'd like to add, ones that were not shown here. It's all up to you. It's all up to your preferences and your needs. And one more thing, you might want to carefully consider the location of your library. That is, where it's situated, where it's physically placed, because that's really important. And I say this because it sort of sets the mood for your studies later on. I myself built shelves right above my desk space as you see here and that's what houses my library. In fact, this is how it looks from my perspective as I'm seated at my desk. It's always there ready to go whenever I need it and when I'm doing research or late night studying or whatever, it's useful to have this information close at hand because I'm always cross-referencing stuff constantly. Okay, that about does it for now. Remember, if you have any of your own book suggestions, I would love to hear about them. Just leave them in the comments section below. In fact, I'm sure many of our viewers and subscribers would also be interested in finding out what kinds of books you have in your own library. All right, this is Analytical Survival signing off and saying, stay safe, my brothers and sisters.